Pet owners know that emergencies can happen at any time. And tonight we take you inside a veterinarian ICU that operates 24-7 right here in Central Iowa. The team treats the most serious cases involving animal health. For a lot of animals, this place is their last chance for survival. We do have a warning for you. Some of the images are difficult to watch. She was barely alive. They didn't have a body temperature on her for the first two hours after we found her. Penny was one of 19 severely abused and neglected dogs that Sheriff Brian Voss helped pull from two Warren County homes in Sandyville last February. When we found her that night, I said if she uh, makes it through the night, I'm going to adopt her. She was less than a year old. She had uh, sepsis in that ear, which is infection so they had to amputate the ear. Her injuries were significant. She had a lot of wounds that needed a lot of care. Penny spent five weeks in intensive care. She looked like a fighter, looked like, you know, she needed a second chance. She came through it like a champ. The medical team at Iowa Veterinary Referral Center in Des Moines put Penny on the road to recovery. We've seen a lot over the years. They see these animals at their worst, whether rescued by the dozens from a bad situation like Penny. We work with animal shelters, really, uh, rescues, rescue organizations, shelters across the state. Or a sick dog or cat. It's tough. Kennels line the walls of the intensive care unit. All animals that come in on emergency are triaged here. Each patient has been through a lot. This guy down here, um, he had a disease um, where his body was not making enough platelets. We have this guy down here who's not very happy. He got hit by a car, unfortunately. Um, and he had us a fracture to one of his back legs that was repaired yesterday. And this guy up here um, had stones in his bladder that were removed. He had a knee surgery, so yeah. So he's just he's just <laughs> hanging out. The emergency care equipment here is remarkably familiar. We've got the ECG. Uh, pulse ox and then in here um, we just have emergency medications um, if a patient should happen to code. It's like a crash cart that right. you would have in right. a regular hospital exactly. emergency room. Exactly. It is surprising to see just how many other pieces of equipment used to diagnose and treat humans are also treating man's best friend. We're diagnosing things that 15 years ago we rarely diagnosed. Their tools, a CT scanner, X-ray room and an ultrasound are not typically found at your traditional veterinary practice. To look in the abdomen, to look at the chest, we're starting to use it to look at, you know, to look at muscles and joints. What sets this team apart is advanced training and technology. Come on, baby. But it's a basic human instinct that may be the most important piece in their practice. It takes a, a big heart. I mean, that's why everybody gets into it. We got for Penny. They were difference makers. They've saved her life a couple times. Thanks to the work at IVRC, Penny happily spends her days at Sheriff Voss's side. Come on, we go back in. I mean, Penny's been through a lot, and she's a sweet dog. She's a healthy dog, and she is a happy, happy dog. Well, that's a great story and a great ending to a great yeah. story. Uh, thank you for bringing yes, it to us. That's yes. fantastic.